take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. There's a time you gotta go and show you grow, and now you know about the facts of life. The facts of life. I don't have a moment. Oh, good. I like that overworked, martyred look. <laughs> it's not a look. It's my life. <laughs> my bratwurst orders are all backed up. I'm running out of meat. How could the butchers go on strike right in the middle of bratwurst season? Could you say that again, only this time face the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, I am really flattered that you have chosen me and my bratwurst for your student film. <laughs> <laughs> But out of my way, okay? I'm up to my esophagus in work. And cut. That's a wrap. You are released for the day. <laughs> Finally. Now I'm free to go have my nervous breakdown. Actresses. <laughs> I dumped your buns in the kitchen, Mrs. Garrett. <laughs> You'll get the rest tomorrow. If I live that long. Oh, Joe. You and that bratwurst give me such ideas. <laughs> like linking up later. Right, my little sausage? Wrong, you weenie. <laughs> I love it when you put me in my place. Hey, nice pattern. I got the same thing in a couch. <laughs> yes, sir. May I help you? Amazing. What? It's amazing the way you changed the old Gruber place. I lived in Peekskill as a boy. Oh, yes. Uh, this used to be a house. No, no. A landmark. No kidding. We're a historical landmark. Hey, did George Washington sleep here? <laughs> <laughs> Not if he had my mattress. <laughs> the girl's pulling my leg. You know what happened here. The Halloween massacre. What massacre? Hmm. Guess you don't know. Let me see now. Yes, yes, happened back in Art Five, when this place was the home of the four old maid Gruber sisters. Old maid? Now that's a very sexist term. <laughs> but go on. One Halloween night, Gertrude, the mean one, got into a terrible argument with Heidi and Helga and Fritzi. Oh, you could hear the Dunkoffs and Schweinhunds for blocks. Suddenly, the voices stopped. Why? It's where the massacre part comes in, Doomkoff. <laughs> yes, oh yes. The way I heard it, old Gertie got Heidi and Helga and Fritzy with a big butcher knife. Never heard in what order. <laughs> so they took Grizzly Gertie away next day, but folks say she never really left. If you know what I mean. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> well, unexplained things started happening, like Gertrude's bedroom, the one in the back, got much colder than the rest of the house. Hey, that's Mrs. Garrett's bedroom. Remember how she complained how cold it was last night? Oh, big deal. A bedroom faces north. A cold room is not that strange. That's true. That's true, until the folks who sleep in the room start to lose their minds. The way I heard it, there's been five over the years. All women, all crazy. <laughs> What's everyone standing around for? There's work to be done. It'll wait, Mrs. Garrett. 
Did you know this used to be the old Gruber place? There was this terrible massacre here. Blood all over the house. Is that brought worst any good? <laughs> it's the best. Easy to say. The name is Biggerly. I'm at the motel down the street. I'll pick up five pounds of it tomorrow on my way to the airport. Eleven sharp. It will be waiting for you. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you turn on the heat in here? It's freezing. I wanted to sleep closer to the door. Oh. Mrs. Garrett, your joke worked a lot better this time. What joke? Oh, come on. Last night you were standing over my bed at 3 a.m., sharpening that butcher knife, doing a terrific grizzly gertie. Helga, you will now learn some respect, yeah? Good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in here at all last night, and I'm in no mood for jokes. What are you doing with that butcher knife? Huh? Oh, I don't know. It was in the bathroom next to my toothbrush. <laughs> well, anyway, I need you to go downstairs and help me in the store. It's only 6.30. I know, but I need you to make the salads. Oh, well, I'm going to have to scrounge up some meat somewhere. <laughs> I may have to get creative. <laughs> Natalie, you were kidding about Mrs. Garrett coming in here last night, weren't you? Then you were dreaming? Hey, anything's possible, but when I dream someone is standing over my bed, it's gonna be Rick Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is serious. What if Grizzly Gertie's spirit really is affecting Mrs. Garrett? Tootie, you've been watching too many horror movies. This has nothing to do with movies. If Natalie was dreaming last night, then what's Mrs. Garrett's slipper doing in here? You hear that? She's sharpening those knives again. I'm convinced that woman's possessed. Tootie. Don't tootie me. Poor Mrs. Garrett's a textbook case of possession. She's got all the symptoms. Sleeping in the presence of a cold, evil spirit. She's forgetful. She's lying. She's even got that glint in her eyes. Oh, Tootie, would you calm down? How can I calm down when poor Mrs. Garrett's in trouble? There must be something in one of my books to help her out. It's Halloween. You know how kids get. Trick or treat! <laughs> Come on in! Oh, you're so cute! You sure are a big Annie. Vitamins. <laughs> okay, here's some for the little ones. You could put it all in here. It gets heavy for the little tykes. I'll divvy it up later. Okay. Hold it. This is the punk that's been shoplifting around here. Taking candy from babies, that's low. I've done lower. <laughs> uh, now hit the bricks. Boy, if you're this rotten at Halloween, I am not gonna come a wassailing at Christmas. <laughs> Guys, I've got something to show you. Take a look at this. It's hardly you, Natalie. <laughs> it's Mr. Bigley's. I found it in the trash behind the shop. 
along with this. That's strange. I just saw Mr. Bigley's package of bratwurst. He never picked it up. I know. That's why I decided to call his motel down the block. You know what I found out? I hate it when you play Columbo. <laughs> They're looking for Mr. Bigley, too. He was supposed to check out at noon, but his luggage is still there, along with an airline ticket on a flight that left five hours ago. Tootie, what are you doing? My book says this is how you exercise evil spirits. You light candles in every corner of the room. That's not exorcism, that's Hanukkah. <laughs> Tootie, look at this. Oh, I love it, Natalie. You can handle bold patterns. <laughs> it's Mr. Bigley's. She found it in the trash. Along with this. So, uh, what happened to Mr. Bigley? Beats me. <laughs> I opened my icebox and there it was, staring me in the face. The delivery boy must have dropped it off. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, what about the strike? Who knows, maybe they settled it. But I'm not looking gift meat in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I mixed up a new batch of bratwurst. Who wants the first bite? <laughs> Me, I'm starved. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old Joe, I can always count on you. <laughs> it's a little different this time. Tell me how you like it. Well? Mmm. Oh, this is better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> There's new something in it. <laughs> well, someone. Speaking of bratwurst, did Mr. Bigley come in to pick up his order yet? He never showed up this morning. Oh, well, that's five more pounds we can sell to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, how can you go on eating that sandwich with poor Mr. Bigley missing? Say something. Could use mustard. <laughs> of course. Mr. Bigley looked very good and yellow. <laughs> Just give me a break. <laughs> Hi, Roy. <laughs> Roy, am I glad to see you. Remember the old man who was wearing this jacket yesterday? Oh, sure. He's got great taste, huh? <laughs> we hope not. <laughs> Have you seen him since yesterday? Well, yeah, in here. About 11 this morning on my regular bun run. Why? Are you positive? Well, absolutely. He had that jacket on. And he told Mrs. Garrett he was here for his bratwurst. And they bickered a while, and then she took him back to the kitchen. Why? Did he come out? Oh, well, sure. I guess I left. Well, he had to come out eventually. One way or the other. <laughs> the way you guys jump to conclusions. I mean, what hard evidence have you got? A cold room, Mrs. G's slipper, Mr. Bigley's jacket, a butcher knife, 25 pounds of mystery meat. <laughs> <laughs> it adds up, doesn't it? I'm in trouble. I just got an order from a supermarket in Terrytown for all the bratwurst I can turn out. Does that mean you're gonna need more meat? <laughs> pounds and pounds. Oh, dear. <laughs> Chick or treat! Well, 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 well. Look 
who we have here. I'm Greta. He's Hansel. I knew that. You look good enough to eat. <laughs> Tell me, do you know the story of Hansel and Gretel? Sure. Good. <laughs> because I'm going to fatten you up and pop you in the oven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, goodbye, kids. We're all out of candy. Yeah, well, here's some pasta. I smell something good. Me too. Is that coming from the kitchen? Mm-hmm. I have something in the oven. You don't want to go in there. Oh, please, just one little pea mm -hmm. and then one little bite. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How can I say no to Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> Come on. No, don't, pretty kids, not scared here. Run, run. <laughs> Joe, I know you're not crazy about little kids, but it's Halloween. It's supposed to be their night. <laughs> I, I really didn't mean to spoil things, Mrs. Never Jones. mind. It's too late for that now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what, what are you doing? Closing up. It's 8 o'clock. Time to work on the bratwurst. I'll need all of you for this. <laughs> Turn off the rest of the lights, and I'll sharpen all the knives and the cleaver. All right. Now, let's not panic. There's one of her and four of us. I don't like those odds. <laughs> A person possessed has the strength of 10. <laughs> Blair, in horror movies, the whimperer always gets it first. <laughs> the important thing is, is that we stick together. You're right. All right, let's throw ourselves into it. Natalie and Tootie will start off first. No, no, Mrs. Garrett. We've made a pact to stay together. But I can't use you all at once. Joe, Blair, you clean up out here. Well, I'll buy that. <laughs> Natalie and Tootie will help me with the bratwurst. I'd love to, Mrs. Garrett, but I've been feeling kind of sick lately. <laughs> I really wouldn't make good bratwurst. Natalie, I don't expect you to cook. <laughs> Judy? Uh, I, I can't help you either. I got to study for finals. In October? Sure. They're doing finals early this semester, so they don't seem so final. <laughs> Look, I know goofing around when I see it. Now into the kitchen and let's get this thing over with. You know, Mrs. Garrett, you've really been working too hard. That's because you won't. Now get in there! <laughs> What's going on around here? You're not turning this brat into bratwurst. <laughs> Girls, will you stop this? I'm really getting miffed. Hey, Mrs. Garrett, just give me the knife and, and, and we'll talk about it. Careful, she's clever. <laughs> Here. But will someone please tell me what, what's going on? First, why don't you tell us what you did with Mr. Bigley? Mr. Bigley? Mr. Bigley? What's all this talk about Mr. Bigley? He's been missing all day, Mrs. Garrett. But he was seen here earlier, and we found his jacket in the trash. So? So? That's all we found. We know what happened to Mr. Bigley. Facts are facts. Soon after Mr. Bigley disappeared, your bratwurst runneth over. <laughs> Bigley and my bratwurst? Are you girls crazy? We asked you first. <laughs> now, it's not your fault. 
Possessy is always the last to know. Mrs. Garrett, I could arrange a really top drawer exorcism for you. My mother knows all the biggies over at St. Patrick's Cathedral. <laughs> Hi there. Mr. Bigley? You're alive! Well, of course he's alive. Where have you been? You have no idea what I've just been accused of. Well, Natalie, I hope I didn't mess things up, but I need my jacket. Mess what up? <laughs> Hold it, Natalie. Here. How come Bigley knows your name? I look like a Natalie? <laughs> Not for long. Now, what's going on? I hate it when you play Columbo. <laughs> Joe, how could Natalie be involved with something this crazy? <laughs> Natalie? You know, Mrs. Garrett, it might help to look at this as a case of creativity unleashed. I don't think so. I don't either. <laughs> Okay, here it goes. I made the Halloween massacre up. You made it up? Yeah, sure did. <laughs> you mean there's no Grizzly Gertie? No Heidi? No Helga? No Fritzy. And no Mr. Bigley. <laughs> the name's Lazzaroni. I was good, wasn't I? <laughs> and I'm the caretaker at the town cemetery. Ah, uh, but my first love has really always been the theater. <laughs> you thought I was an old crank, didn't you? That was acting. I'm really a very mellow guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. Talk, Natalie. I was working on my student film project, and I wanted to do a horror movie live as it happened. And uh, the script called for a murderess, and I was it. Right. And I planted clues all over the place to try and make the girls believe you were possessed. It wasn't easy. That's comforting. <laughs> but a slipper, a knife, 25 pounds of meat, I finally convinced them. She did not. <laughs> we didn't believe it for a second. We were kidding, Mrs. G. <laughs> well, you could have fooled me. Got some great footage. Oops, I forgot my cameraman. And cut. Okay, come on out. Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> us all of this grief over some dumb movie you scared the daylights out of me you want to talk worry lines <laughs> guys this is the stuff memories are made of <laughs> someday we'll laugh about this <laughs> not soon girls wait no matter how selfish manipulative and stupid thank you stupid natalie has acted uh she wasn't totally lying. I wasn't? Mm. The legend is true. It is Halloween. And there will be a murder in this house tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah!
happiness reigned on a distant red planet. But one sad day, the Martians ran out of a cherished element they called Kubi. Four brave volunteers blasted off to search the galaxy. One special night, their Kubi meter locked onto a course straight for Earth. It was Halloween. every year. Mom made it for me. I know. But if she was still alive, don't you think she'd want you to wear something else? Anything else? I'm never going to wear another costume. This one has Mom in it. Mom always made Halloween the most special night of the year. Hey, I know, Jeannie. Let's go see Dad at the candy factory and get our first sweets there. Come on, Halloween's going to be oh. great. Hi, Digger. Oops, I forgot oh. my candy. How you doing, boy? Oh. Jeannie, look oh. out! Dad, you understand what I'm saying, don't you? I mean, the candy company was here even when you were a kid. I can't let this place close down, especially with the holidays coming. Be realistic. We've spent money on dozens of tests to find out why the lake is drying up. Oh, I know, and they never seem to come up with anything conclusive. And in the meantime, I've got to rely on all this expensive electrical power. I'm sorry, Grant. I don't see how we can even finish out the production year. I'm afraid this looks like the last Halloween in Crystal Falls. Aren't you two tearing up the town? Grandpa, is this really gonna be the last Halloween? I wish there was something I could do. Mom used to tell us if you throw a stone in the lake, your wish would come true if it skip three times. Your mom is the greatest wisher I ever saw. And she always believed that Halloween was full of magic and 
tonight we can make anything happen. So you go, and you have an especially great time tonight. Takes practice. Come on, Ginny. If this is really gonna be the last Halloween, let's make it the greatest one ever. the ship out, I'll take Bing and Scooter to look for Gooby. May take us a while. My Gooby meat is still down. <sighs> How will I ever dig this out? <sighs> well, I'll be a quasar riding flap dwar. You're a hairy looking thing, but you could just be a Martian's best friend. Costumes. Yeah. Costumes. We are Martians. Hold on to your moon rocks, Dio Bland. I'm getting a high reading on my Kubi meter. Whoa! Those kids want Michael. Probably just some bullies weren't getting much candy in one arm. <laughs> Come on, let's go through the woods and ditch it. Don't be silly, Jeannie. There's no such thing as... Enjoy your trip. <laughs> Martian! <laughs> they seem just as scared as we are. We come in peace. I am leader of this Martian mission, Ramtu the Great. Uh, Your Highness, may I introduce Gleep, Scooter, and Bing? Oh, great. You in that dumb costume. They think you're queen of Earth. I'm not a queen, but I am a milk monitor at my school. I'm Jeannie. This is just a costume my mother made for me. Mother? But, uh, what? Mother? What is mother? You don't know what mothers are? They take care of you and love you. And they have secret ways of making everything extra fun. And they're more beautiful than fairies. <laughs> Negative Bing. You cannot go probing for a mother of your own. We have come to locate Kubi. Who's Kubi? On the planet Mars, we have run out of a treat known as Kubi and have come to replenish our supply. I don't think we have anything on Earth called Kubi. But you can take all our broccoli. Wow. There it goes again. There it goes. Goofy. Goofy. That's candy. You mean Kooby is candy? You don't have any more candy on your whole planet? And you've come to Earth on the best Kooby night of the whole year. Yeah, it's Halloween. All you gotta do is knock on people's doors and say, Trick or treat! Oh, don't you look fabulous. Oh, let me see who's under this cute costume. Now go have a good time. 
Halloween ever. How many domiciles have we not yet approached, Michael? Plenty. But you guys are off to a pretty good start. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, where's Michael going? I do not know. Hey, what you doing, Dio Bland? I'm worried about my dad. So you're throwing stones at him? No. No. See, my dad runs the main factory where almost everybody in Crystal Falls works. Over the last year, the lake water that powers the factory has been drying up. He's doing everything he can to keep it open, but tonight he found out this is going to be the last Halloween. Guess all the wishing in the world won't make things better. Wishing? Yeah, it's an old Earth custom. You ask for something you want, then you throw a stone. And if it skips three times, it starts to come true. Very strange, you Earthlings. On the planet Mars, if we desire something, we must do more than throw stones at it. Yeah, well, I'm just a kid. I guess there's nothing I can do around here anyway. Better get back to work. We'll cover more ground in two groups. Scooter and I will investigate the southern sector. You three go north. Bing's headed for Gisborne's place! No, stop! No, Bing, no! Now 
little die monsters. I am going to treat you to a trick you will never forget. Jump down here, quick! Gisborne's the one draining the water off the lake. We can prove it. Everything's in her basement. Okay, come on, come on. Come here, come with me. Okay, now, I want you both to stay right here until I get back. I'm gonna get the sheriff, okay? Greedy This puppy meter's working. enough kubi to last quarlands i wish i could understand you Bing. he is saying thank you mother mother you said a mother takes care of you and has these totally nonchalant ways of making everything fun you have done all those things for us tonight genie here you can take this with you Genie, that's your costume. I know, but I want Bing to have it. And anyhow, I've outgrown it. And you have been most helpful in digging out our ship, my hairy friend. <coughs> Take this. It might make a good skipping stone, Michael. But, but, when are you coming back? Michael, on Halloween nights, look to the skies. We'll be there. I'm gonna miss you, Bing. Kids, where are you? It's Dad! Quick, out the back door! Go on! Hurry! Go! Kids! Dad! Oh. You two are right about Gisborne. And Halloween is saved, right? Yeah, and the factory, too. Well, we did stop her. But I'm afraid she totally destroyed the lake. So, I guess the candy factory still has to close. We'll be fine. There'll be lots more Halloweens. In some other town. I still need more practice. Oh, 
Fishing's only part of how things happen, Dad. Some of it's up to you. The magic part, right, Grandpa? Magic came to Crystal Falls on that Halloween night. Now, it didn't come in a spaceship or a skipping stone, but from the secret place any child will be happy to point out if you take the time to ask. So whenever you begin to lose your way, stop and close your eyes. It may be hard to find, but a place where magic still exists is waiting when you let yourself believe.